So uh, first uh, of the equilibrio exercises that we're going to look at is the four traverse. And the four traverse is footwork that brings you in a clockwise circle and also tends to make you spiral in towards your opponent unless you deliberately uh, step so as to move back a little with each step. So you can do the four traverse so that you don't get closer to the opponent. But if you do it the way I'm about to show you, you will move in on the opponent as you do it. So starting in the fourth footwork position, your right foot traverses to the second footwork position, then your left foot to the fourth position, right foot to second, and you keep doing that, you'll come all the way around the circle. Now, when you're actually doing the old style, you with your left hand, so it's actually left hand on hip when you're in fourth, left hand up by your face or behind your head when you're in second. And the back traverse is just the opposite of that. It goes the other direction. So let's say I'm starting on second. I step to fourth, second, fourth, second, fourth, second, fourth, second, fourth. And both of those uh, traverses will take you all the way around the circle if you keep going around. So four traverses clockwise, back traverses counterclockwise. Four traverse moves you towards the other guy, Back traverse moves you away from the other guy. If you have the sword in your hand, you practice these traverses changing guards. So let's say we start on the outside guard. It goes inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Inside, outside. Say I'm starting on the inside guard. Outside, inside. Now, if you add in the hanging guard, it goes inside, outside, inside, hang, inside, outside, inside, hang, inside, outside, inside, hang. This is when you should start when you're when you actually have the sword in your hand. This is when you should start to feel a shift of weight as you move through these different positions. You want to feel that all the body parts and the weight of the sword itself are moving together and are coordinated. You can actually feel the weight shifting as your left hand moves in conjunction with the sword and as you move around the circle. That feeling of the shifting of the weight and all the body parts moving together is what it's called. That's why these are called the equilibrio exercises. Um, the next one is called one and two. It went from regimental broadsword, the one and three thing you read is this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But with the old style broadsword, you do that on that circle. So, one, two. exercises, you should really feel that as the cut is descending, you should feel this wave of the weight transfer moves through your entire body and out through the sword to such an extent that it doesn't actually feel like the sword cut is powered by your arm. And you can do any number of these without really getting tired. I've, I've done um, a thousand at a stretch pretty frequently. And you don't really get that tired because it's not the arm that's doing the cut, it's the body. So the next one is three and four. And we use that uh, for our salute in the Caterin system. In regimental, it's three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. And you know, it's either the uh, elbow rotating or the wrist. In the old style, you should have that same equilibrio uh, movement powering these cuts. So it's three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. And again, uh, you should be able to do any number of those cuts without feeling like your arm is getting tired. Now, you can then combine all of those cuts into one, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four. That's, uh, those are cut the way that I did them, but those are also the same lay configurations as the parries. So I'm parrying one, parrying two, parrying three, parrying four. Now, if you throw in a cut seven, that's the only one that takes you off of that circular footwork because you're coming straight down the center. It's called a medium. It's one, two, three, four, seven. One, two, three, four, seven. One, two, three, four, seven. That's uh, all of the cuts except for five and six. And again, the blade configurations are all the same for the parries. So the next exercise is actually the parries. So it's parry inside, parry outside, parry low inside, parry low outside, parry the head with the St. George. One, two, three, four, Seven. One, two, three, four, seven. And the last of the equilibrio exercises is just to do all of that uh, equilibrio movement free form. And this can be a very relaxing and pleasant way to practice when you're practicing alone if you have enough room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep walking around that circle. I'll be doing some cuts, I'll be doing some thrusts. It'll usually be on the four traverse, but sometimes I'll step back on the back traverse and I'll be counting in my head. Every movement of the sword will be one. And it's just like repetitions in any other kind of training. You decide what number you want to go up to. That was one hunt. So doing a thousand doesn't even take you very long, probably about 20 minutes. So that's an exercise you can do every day. Uh, you know, once you've practiced all the other exercises to the point where you can combine the three form like that. that doing that exercise every day for a thousand repetitions will make you much more fluid and natural when you're actually using the old style of powder.